A very long time ago lived a girl who sailed the seas with her father. They enjoyed nothing more than the fresh scent of salty air and the beautiful tune that the seagulls sang. One stormy night, the father's boat rocked back and forth violently over the tumultuous waves. The young girl had been trying to find her pet cat on the deck. Her father slipped and slid trying to get to her. A huge indigo-hued wave swept her off the boat, and just like that, she was gone. Amanda! Amanda! Her father screamed, but it was too late. She was lost in the ocean's endless waters. The next morning, sunlight warmed her face. When she awoke, the clouds were no longer gray. They were white and dream-filled. The sky rolled past her at a steady rate. How could that be? Unless she was lying on some kind of raft. When she turned her body to see what she was under, her eyes widened. She was riding on the back of one of those magnificent blue whales that she had only seen drawings of. It let out a huge bellow, as if to greet her good morning. She laid her face on its back and stroked its slippery skin. She was in heaven. Can I name you? She asked. The whale answered her with a gentle call. Ulysses. Yes, I think it suits you. What do you think? The creature gave out an approving snort. She giggled and hugged its back. Many days and nights had passed for the two of them. Strangely, Amanda did not need food or drink. It was as if the whale was giving off a kind of energy that allowed her to survive. Weeks had passed for Amanda's father. He was heartsick. The men who aided him in his search could see the years drifting away from him. He got thinner. His face became gaunt and rougher. His daughter's cat would occasionally come up to him and rub its head against him and give the poor man some comfort. He was losing his faith in the Lord, as he had put his palms together to pray so many times that he was getting blisters from it. Weeks became months, and months became years. He was an old man by this point, frail, but still determined to find his daughter. The sons of the men who had aided him before were now helping him. Amanda, I will find you before I die. I promise. Amanda was now a young woman, but with a childlike mind. Ulysses had taken her around the world. She got to see so many different species of creatures many that she did not even know existed. She loved her whale more than life itself, and her separation from Ulysses would be bittersweet, for it would also be her salvation. One night, she awoke to the terrible sounds of distant crying. It was the crying of whales. Ulysses swam through the waters at an incredible speed. He made haste to see if he could help his brothers and sisters. The morning star was already peeking over the horizon when they got to them. Dozens of whale carcasses littered the ocean surface, bodies rocking back and forth. Men from several whaling vessels were already netting several of them in. Ulysses let out a huge earth-rumbling roar. It was one of outrage and mourning. He singled out the vessel that was netting a young whale into its grasp. It was a youngling, and still alive. The mother long dead now. With a heroic charge, Ulysses hit the vessel so hard that it capsized, freeing the young whale. Amanda could barely keep her grip. Then, she saw from out the corner of her eye behind them that the other vessel was getting ready to launch a harpoon. One second later, Ulysses was struck. He was silent, though. There had been enough crying from whales for this day. 
Amanda did not cry either, but tears streamed down her cheeks as her beautiful companion was dying. The men on the vessel saw her and were struck by her presence on the back of such a giant animal. One of the crew swam out to her. She tried to resist him, but he was able to pull her to him and take her away from the sinking creature. The young whale that Ulysses saved was long gone by now, and Amanda rested silently in the captain's quarters as he sent out a telegraph that a young woman had been found off the coast of Newfoundland. A week later, a small fishing boat arrived. On the deck, an old man stood trying to keep his composure. He knew it was Amanda. God had finally rewarded him. She looked like an angel when he first saw her after so many years apart, all grown up and beautiful. After several weeks of being with her father, she still had not spoken. That night, a terrible storm had arisen, not unlike the one that had robbed him of his daughter so many years ago. The ship had sprung a leak. Water was flooding the cabin rapidly. All of a sudden, Amanda let out the greatest, loudest, most magnificent wail call to ever be heard. Minutes later, whales gathered around the tiny fishing boat and lifted it with their immense forms. The father was astonished. His daughter had called them all to rescue them. He did not wish to wonder why, for it was not an important enough question to ask. He hugged his daughter tightly as she spoke to him for the first time in 15 years. The Lord works in mysterious ways, Papa. <laughs>